Hello everyone, you are watching Sahib Academy. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for the regular updates and also follow us on Instagram, Sahib Academy. Now let's go to the video. Hi everyone, this is the second video of buyback of shares chapter. Now in the previous video, we have seen the concept of buyback of shares and we have also discussed the important provisions of section 68 of the Companies Act which deals with the buyback of shares, right? We have discussed replacement of capital and lots of provision, lots of things. So please watch the first video so you can have the understanding and the logic while solving the problem, right? So now in this video, what are we going to do is in this video, we are going to see the journal entries of buyback of share. It's very simple. Let's start this video. Okay, let's see the journal entries. Now, before moving on to the journal entries, let's just see the practical accounting aspect of buyback of shares with this example. See here, let's say a company goes for buyback of 60,000 of its equity shares, right? We are only talking about equity shares here in this chapter, okay? Because equity shares are bought back by the company, not the preference shares. Preference shares are redeemed by the company. That's called redemption of preference shares. Yes, we have seen that in a different chapter, redemption of preference shares. Here we are talking about only equity shares. So the company goes for that buyback of 60,000 of its equity shares and the face value of its shares is 100 and the market value is 105. Yes, now the shareholder should be ready to sell their shares to the company. That's called buyback. Yes, the company is purchasing the shares, buying the shares from the shareholders. So the shareholder should be ready to sell their shares. So now, so do you think the shareholders will sell their shares, you know, just for the face value or at the market value? No, they won't. Why? Because they can sell their shares directly into the open market at the market value, right? Whatever the market value is. Why would they bother to sell their shares to the company? They won't. So that's why what the company does is company offers a premium price more than the market value okay they won't offer face value or the market value they will offer mostly a premium value okay above the market value clear so that the shareholders would sell their shares to the company clear that's called buyback of shares here so now what would be happening here the company to buy back those shares from the equity shareholders they need to pay to equity shareholders so they are going to pay the face value equity share capital yes the face value and also premium okay the amount that is over the face value a premium extra amount yes and that extra amount which the company would pay to these shareholders yes this is a loss to the company is it not because they are paying more if you pay more than what it's worth that is called loss yes that's premium yes something extra and that premium loss has to be written off by the company okay so to write off that loss you know what the company can do is company can use you know and it's permitted in the section 68 the company can use free reserves is the free reserves will be used to write off that loss yeah and the first priority to write off that loss you know you have to use securities premium this reserve now this is not a free reserve but i've already told you in the first video that in this section 68 you know free reserve what does the free reserves mean it means all the reserves that are divisible as well as the securities premium only in this section 68 okay so the first priority you have to give to securities premium and then you can also use pnl general reserve and all that revenue reserve okay so this is how you have to write off the premium the money the extra money that you are going to pay to the equity shareholders to buy back the shares clear and you're also going to pay them the face value yes but then in the section 68 what we have seen is we have to replace that capital yes this capital will be going out of the company yes because we are going to cancel this capital because we have bought the shares back and cancel those shares so the capital is also going to be no more yes but the company's act says the capital the paid up capital should not decrease it should remain the same so to comply with the section 68 what we do is we replace the capital yes either through fresh issue of preference shares because we can't issue equity shares Yes, if you are buying back equity shares, you have to issue preference shares. Yes, and then the another option that you have is free reserve. You can transfer free reserve to a special reserve that is called CRR, Capital Redemption Reserve, which will ultimately be used to issue bonus shares, right? So that's a guaranteed capital, isn't it? Yes, so now these two options you have to replace the capital and the funding for this, you know, this money will also come out of fresh issue or free reserves. But then sometimes the question will say investments are sold off, land and building is sold off. So what is that? See here, selling of investment, land and building or whatever that is there, that's called arranging the cash. Okay. Now these profits, which will be there, you know, free reserves. Now these free reserves in the company, it will not always be in form of cash. 
it will be sometimes in form of you know investments and all that yes what do you do with the cash even if your father has some cash yeah if he have savings then what he's going to do he will invest those savings somewhere isn't it so now if your father is in need of money what he is going to do he is going to sell off those investment and get the money yes get the cash so that is the same thing is happening in the company company needs cash so what can company do company will sell off the investment those investments were created out of profits so it will sell off those investment and arrange the money to pay off the equity shareholders clear so that is what so now you understand the concept here there are only two ways to you know fund the equity share capital this thing okay either through fresh issue of preference shares or transferring free reserves to crr okay only these two free reserves or fresh issue of preference shares now these are also arranging the cash as well as replacement of capital and here what you do is you have to write off this premium and then you are going to pay off to the equity shareholder simple as that yeah so now let's see the general entries now here we have the general entries for the buyback of shares see here they are very simple the first two entries we have got over here is to make partly paid up equity shares fully paid up now you already know i have told you in the previous video while discussing the provisions that the shares which are going to be bought back by the company must be fully paid up they can't be partly paid up right so what the company has to do if they are partly paid up the company has to make them fully paid up and there are two general entries for that the first entry is the company has to make final call yes asking the shareholders to pay the remaining money whatever that is outstanding okay so equity share final call account debit to equity share capital account clear this is the first entry the due entry and then upon receiving the money by the company they have to pass this entry bank account debit money is coming in to equity share final call account now here this temporary account which was created over here debit right equity share final call account this account is going to be cancelled over here by having an equal credit okay so only two account is going to be there that is the bank account and the equity share capital account that's the you know money has been received and the capital has been increased clear then another entry that can come in your question is selling off investment i've told you regarding this right to sell investment to arrange cash what the company do the company to arrange the cash they may sell the investments yes so for that the entry is very simple money is coming in you have sold off the investment bank account debit money is coming in to investment now why are investment credited because investments are going out they have been sold off yes asset is reducing whenever an asset reduces you have to credit that to investment simple as that but then the investment can be sold above the book value that's profit or below the book value that's loss so if there is a loss you have to debit you know that right all losses are debited and all gains are credited so debit the loss profit and loss account if the investments are sold at a loss if the investments are sold above the book value then that's profit you have to credit the profit yeah gain all gains or profit are credited so to profit and loss credit simple simple investment entry either it's a profit or loss yeah if it's a loss mostly it will be a loss then you have to debit that clear right then the main entry start of buyback of shares see here to make money due to equity shareholders on buyback now the company is going for buyback of shares so from the accounting point of view the company has to accept that the company has to pay money to equity shareholders so the first entry would be due entry we have to accept that the company has to accept that we have to pay money to equity shareholders so this equation itself is the entry see here it's very simple equity share capital will be cancelled off yes because we are buying the shares and cancelling them off and this is a loss you know that and to these people we have to pay so this is the entry itself see here equity share capital account debit yeah why debit because you know we have to cancel this equity share capital because it is being bought back yes so to cancel the capital you have to debit because capital always have credit balance yes so to cancel the capital you have to debit that whenever it equity reduces you have to debit that and then the premium which would be payable the premium above the face value this thing is what loss so all losses are debited so that's why pre premium payable on buyback account debit clear loss is debited then to equity shares buyback account now here you can also take equity shareholder account because you are going to pay to equity shareholders or in the ca inter material they have taken equity shares buyback account so it's better you ca inter guys you have to take equity shares buyback account okay but rest of the students bcom baf bba you can people you know you people can take this equity shareholder account also clear easy so this is the thing you have to cancel the capital loss is debited and here you know you have to pay you are creating a liability over here you have to pay to equity shareholders to equity shareholder account or to equity share buyback account simple as that 
yeah then what you have to do this loss you have to write off yes that's what i told you right this loss you have to write off how using free reserves first priority goes to securities premium so simple write off premium payable on buyback this is a loss for us so securities premium or general reserve or pnl whatever free reserves you want you can use okay now securities premium is not a free reserve but only for this chapter only for this section securities premium is considered as a free reserve over here and the first priority goes to securities premium okay so securities premium will be debited because here we are using these reserves now reserves always have credit balance so here you are using up these reserves okay because these equity shareholders they are getting paid you know this premium out of free reserves clear so you're using up these free reserves yeah that's what it means so you're using the reserves reserves equity always have credit balance to use them up you have to debit them yeah and this thing was debited over here premium payable on buyback it was debited over here right so you have to write that off so to write that off to cancel that off you have to make an equal credit here it was debited you have to make an equal credit to cancel that off easy securities premium account debit to premium payable on buyback that has been written off then what you have to do then comes the replacement of capital this thing only the face value needs to be replaced right this thing 60 lakh over here this premium will be written off yeah but this thing has to be replaced either through fresh issue or free reserves now here while solving the problem you will understand we have to do bit some calculation over here because mostly in all of the problems they are going to say how much shares were issued and then the remaining what we are going to do we are going to create the crr simple or if they say that some funds have been transferred to crr then we are going to see how much minimum number of shares we have to issue to comply with the section okay we are going to use the combination over here some calculation is there we'll see that later while solving the problem so we have to create the crr capital redemption reserve this special reserve which will ultimately use to issue bonus shares only right so to create that reserve what we have to do reserves always have credit balance so to create this capital redemption reserve you have to credit that to capital redemption reserve what you are doing over here you are transferring the funds from free reserves to this special reserve so free reserve will be decreasing yes these reserves will be decreasing and crr will be increasing so whenever reserve increases you have to credit that and whenever reserve decreases you have to debit that because reserves always have credit balance yes so to decrease these reserves yeah to transfer the funds from these reserves to this reserve what you have to do debit the free reserves whatever you can use okay profit and loss general reserve revenue reserve like that yeah securities premium also you can use yes debit 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 yeah and then to capital redemption reserve easy yeah and then there is fresh issue yeah combination we have to do fresh issue of preference shares usually preference shares because we can't issue equity shares it's prohibited by the section you are doing buyback of equity shares and you can't issue equity shares you can only issue preference shares so that's what you have to do so simple on receipt of application money bank account money is coming in bank account debit yeah on the basis of application and allotment will be together okay or you can directly do only one entry also bank account debit to directly to preference share capital to securities premium that also you can do all right so this is what this is like an entry simple entries bank account to preference share application and allotment account and then on allotment what you do you transfer from this account you cancel off this account here it was credited you debit that account preference share application and allotment and you transfer the money separately only the face value goes to this preference share capital account and the premium would go to securities premium account yes and remember okay what you are going to replace only the share capital only the face value yes only the face value you are going to replace and face value has to be replaced only by the face value always remember that this fresh issue of preference shares can be at premium also but that premium will not replace this okay only face value will replace face value is that clear we'll see that while solving the problem don't worry just have an idea that only the face value will replace the face value if the you know this fresh issue is at a premium let's say one lakh is there here in securities premium that cannot be used to replace this you know equity share capital is that clear don't worry we'll see that later so this is the fresh issue entry simple entries money is coming in first you're going to transfer this application allotment and then you're going to transfer from application and allotment to capital and securities premium and you're going to cancel these account debit and credit clear easy and then at last what is going to happen at last simple first you have made the due entry and then you have written off the loss and then replacement of capital is also done yeah and if they say investments are sold off that is also done at last what you're going to do at last you are going to make the payment for payment to equity shareholders simple 
yeah see here to whom you are paying to these guys right to equity shareholders or equity shares buyback account whatever it is you can use yeah so this account was credited over here because liability was increasing we accepted that we have to pay to equity shareholders to equity shares buyback account but now this liability will be decreased at last because at last finally we are going to pay to these people equity shareholders so what you're going to do is you're going to cancel off this liability here it was credited you are going to debit that equity shares buyback account yes and the money will be paid so money will be decreasing bank account will be decreasing the money will be going out to bank account credit simple equity shares buyback account debit why debit you are cancelling off this account liability is decreasing here liability was created here liability is being extinguished yeah it's being scrapped off and then money is decreasing simple as that these are the general entries very easy yeah so that's it yeah just remember that only face value can replace the face value and then you know while creating the crr you can use these reserves but you cannot use you know revaluation reserve okay most of the students make that mistake you cannot use revaluation reserve you can use profit and loss general reserve revenue reserve and also securities premium account yeah premium reserve simple yes and here the first priority goes to securities premium after securities premium is completely extinguished then only you can use general reserve or profit and loss if required is that clear easy yeah so that's all entry you have you know first due entry right of the loss create the crr you know create crr or fresh issue combination and then at last make the payment to the equity shareholders that's it yeah in the next video we are going to solve some problems and we are going to practically see how to solve these problems okay okay then see you in the next video bye